Today is the last day of NBC 10 series Building Philadelphia. Our reporters, they've been highlighting some major projects happening all over the city all week long. Yeah, this morning NBC 10's Brenna Wyke is bringing us to 30th Street Station in Center City, where you can expect to see a huge overhaul over the next few years. Of all the people traveling to and from our city on a given day, I'm glad to be in Philadelphia. Over 100,000 of them will step foot in 30th Street Station. Yeah, I've been here three times in three months now and taking the train every time. Built in 1929, the station is known for its grand main hall. It's just beautiful. It's, like, I don't know, I just have the sense of bigness and beauty. Evidence of its rich history can be seen all over what's really a transportation landmark. The Great 30th Street Station is one of the crown jewels of the Northeast Corridor. But next time you go, things will look a little different. So we're hoping to minimize disruptions uh, during construction. There will be entrances to the station we'll maintain on 29th Street and 30th Street. I was very disoriented because for the last 50 years of coming here, there's been a food court and it was gone. Temporary walls are blocking off the South Concourse, which holds nearly all of the food and drink options. This is the first phase here, um, 18 to 24 months before we'll have this part up and running. Um, and then we're going to move to the north side there, where Amtrak will be redoing all of our ticket counters and baggage um, and Metropolitan Lounge. The half a billion dollar project is both privately and publicly funded with grant money from the Federal Railroad Administration. It's been in the works since 2016. Everyone's excited to get started on the project. It's been a long time coming. And it'll be a long time going, too. You can expect to see some kind of renovations for the next few years. We're going to maintain continuous rail operations, so figuring out what platforms we need to shut down during what times to allow for all the train movements to continue to happen and all the construction to happen on time, on schedule. The goal is to modernize station operations without sacrificing its character. We're not modernizing the station or any of the architecture or any of the design. Um, all new elevators, escalators and stairs going to the platforms, which is really the heart of Amtrak rail operations. We're going to make sure the passengers get safely onto the platforms. All the building systems, high efficiency. Welcome news to longtime passengers who prefer the charm of the old days of travel. No, I like that better. <laughs> the iconic flipboard will make a comeback from its current spot in the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania. While it won't be functional due to disability requirements, it will bring back memories for many. I think we should always keep the history. Don't let it go away. Reporting from 30th Street Station. Thank you for choosing Amtrak. Brenna White, NBC 10 News. I like that clicking sound, we we you know? both grew up with that. Yeah. We both oh. grew up with that. Something so cool about Man, it. Man, that flipboard. You can watch our entire Building Philadelphia series right now on NBC10.com slash Building Philadelphia or the free NBC10 app.